Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XLM. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XLM. I'm going to show you why I'm so bullish on this cryptocurrency. XLM Stellar Powered Wisdom Tree Prime App has officially launched for both iOS and Android. The finance app enables users to invest in digital funds and digital assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, tokenized gold, and more. People can even spend their fiat or digital assets to buy things or pay bills. And you know, I like the idea of that. We need more of that kind of growth where people can go and shop with their crypto. The reason I say that is because about a week ago, I was talking to someone and I'm trying to tell them, you want to come into crypto now. The price is so cheap right now. And the first thing they said to me is, can I go in that store over there and buy something with crypto? And I was like, well, no. And they said, that's because crypto isn't real. But that is eventually going to change. And when it does, the price of these cryptocurrencies are going to be so high as that time comes because everything's going to move up in value. And all those people that hate crypto now or don't see the value in crypto, they're going to have to buy it. They're going to want it and they're going to want to invest in it. But like I said, we're lucky enough to be getting it at such cheap prices because it's not going to stay at these cheap prices forever. As of now, only Stellar has been used, and you can confirm this at app.rwa.xyz slash treasuries. A lot of people are saying Wisdom Tree isn't using Stellar, and you see it right here. Wisdom Tree Prime Network Stellar. And I think that's something that's going to continue to grow year over year as well, adding value to the network. Then there's this, and the only blockchain company partnered with BlackRock on CTFC Advisory Committee is the Stellar Development Foundation. And BlackRock has also created a reconstruction bank to rebuild the Ukraine. And Ukrainian CBDC is built on Stellar. Take a listen to what Larry Fink says. More and more our global investors are asking us about the role of crypto. And as I said, I do believe a lot of crypto is is going to be. It's an international asset. It's going. It is. Um, it has a differentiating value versus other asset classes. But more importantly, because it's so international, it's going to transcend any one currency in currency valuation. If you just look at the value of of our dollar, how it de depreciated last two two months, and how much it appreciated over the last five years, I mean. A international crypto product can really transcend that. And that's why we believe there's great opportunities. And that's why we're seeing more and more interest. And that interest is broad based worldwide. Worldwide interest is growing around crypto. And now the Bitcoin Maxis would tell you he's talking about Bitcoin. Honestly, I think the only time Larry Fink call, talks about Bitcoin is for the mainstream media news and the normies of the world because he knows what is utility, what has real world use case. And most likely that's what he's talking about here. It is no coincidence that Stellar Network is so favorable with the Ukraine while the country is developing their CBDC. But Stellar's going beyond that. They're also discussing ways to meet Ukraine's humanitarian aid needs in the country as well. A lot of growth in the Ukraine with Stellar. Now, retired Army U.S. Colonel Douglas McGregor says BlackRock wants to control as much of the Ukraine as it can. But he's not talking about just CBDCs. He's not talking about the banks or any of that. He's talking about resources. Does BlackRock want it to keep going? Well, I think BlackRock wants to control uh, as much of uh, Ukraine as it can. Monsanto and a number of other firms are all in there because you're talking about some of the richest agricultural land yep. in the world. You know, about 15, 20 feet of black earth. I mean, it was so rich that during the war, Hitler tried to load boxcars with it and bring it back to Germany. That's how valuable it is. I've had Russians and Ukrainians tell me, you know, stick anything you want in the ground. It'll grow something. <laughs> it's, it's that good. So uh, I'm sure that there are lots of people who would like to get at it. Uh, lots of people would like to get at Russia's resources. I mean. 
So is BlackRock there for the resources? I don't think so. I think it goes beyond that. BlackRock and JP Morgan help set up Ukraine Reconstruction Bank. And I think Stellar will be tied into that as well. Because they're also pushing for cashless society and digital IDs. Take a listen. Ukrainians using DIA. And that's, that, that's what proves it. Yeah, and DIA, of course, is the first of its kind digital identity platform being used uh, by government for, to provide government services. So we started actually working before the war on the, the notion of a, of a pilot program with respect to a large bank in Ukraine, Tascom Bank, de, de, uh, on developing the um, eHerivnia. We actually to provide the, the technology layer that they build on. Like we've been working with them, but the teams there have worked through the war to be able to make this happen. Actually, at the time when we met in uh, the, the period in 2021, they were very focused on moving to a cashless society and on bringing in as much technology into Ukraine as possible so that not only you could benefit from the, the, the Ukrainians could benefit from it, but you could actually take advantage of the population within Ukraine that was so digitally savvy and so focused on technological and advancement. So in many I think what's going on there is it's a testing ground for the United States. It's a testing ground for the EU around digital IDs, around cashless society. They most likely want to see how a cashless society would actually work if it was up and running. The problem that I see is I doubt the Ukrainian people actually want this, but they have Zelensky selling them out at every single turn. And that's going to continue to happen into the future. And again, BlackRock will most likely acquire a lot of the land over there at the same time. So don't get distracted. Your freedom could be closer than you think. Wake up to XLM and do your research now. Think cross-border payments, daily, non-stop usage for the people. Franklin Templeton knows. MoneyGram knows. USDC knows. IBM knows. And it's true. If A lot of people somehow are overlooking XLM or they don't see the value in it anymore. Uh, all the talk right now is about Ripple winning the case against the SEC. And look what happened. XRP took off and took XLM with it. They're very similar cryptocurrencies. Now let's talk about the Federal Reserve. So the Federal Reserve has publicly stated that XRP and XLM may be used to facilitate the blockchain aspect of their FedNow payment system. And you see it right here. Ripple, a prominent provider of cross-border payments and open source distributed ledger technology for financial transactions, may be included among the fintech companies that FedNow will utilize. Additionally, Stellar Lumens XLM, a blockchain-based payment network that offers a quicker and more cost-effective method for executing global payments, might also be among the companies that FedNow will use. And we see all the ties with Ripple, and we're starting to see the ties with XLM as well. BPV announces ISO 222 support for the Stellar blockchain and Circle USDC. Developed by the International Standards Organization, ISO 222 is a global standard for data transfer between financial institutions essential for many types of electronic payments. The standard is already used by many real-time clearing systems around the world, such as SWIFT, SEPA, in Europe, Faster Payments in the UK, as well as many other payment systems. ISO is used for payment settlements, as well as the settlement of stocks and other securities. And the volume, it's going to pull trillions of dollars in volume. BP Ventures, a blockchain consulting and software services firm, has completed development of support for ISO 222 on the Stellar blockchain. The move will open possibilities for trillions of dollars worth of financial sector transfer volume to migrate to the Stellar network. And that's why I'm still bullish on XLM. I know it's going to be utilized all throughout the world in the very near future. And even SWIFT is going to integrate XLM at some point. And don't forget, XLM moves with XRP. Not a financial advisor, but don't forget to buy some Stellar. And I've been telling people in XRP videos as well, you know, if you're going to diversify, buy some XLM. 
You know, and if you want to go beyond that, buy some XDC. This way you're handling the three cryptocurrencies that are going to move the world's money. XRP, bank to bank. XLM, person to person. XDC, all that world trade money. And I'll be doing a video on XLM in the near future as well. Just thought I put that out there. But, you know, the thing is, people are really overlooking XLM's potential. And with BlackRock and Stellar, what they're doing in the Ukraine, you're going to see that happen in other countries as well. I think they're working more closely together than a lot of people think. Not everything about BlackRock needs to be talked about with Bitcoin. I think BlackRock knows where all the money is. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.